Now let old here chime in on this one here. Since it ain't my business, but it's on YouTube in the public domain, so it's my business to say whatever the hell I want to say about it, all right? Now, let me settle this thing with Stephen A. Smith and the comment that he made. Y'all take a listen to this, okay? Now, this is the point that I want to clear up for all y'all's out there, because I know y'all smarter than old head. Old head just see things a little different, okay? Now, Stephen A. says that them drug dealing fellas all out in Hollis had a no fly zone on him. That nobody's can mess with him because they saw potential in that little fella. Okay? He was he was a bookworm. He'd go home, he'd do his homework. he read all the pages, word by word. Stop at the commas, the periods, the hyphenations, and all that stuff. He was a smart little fella. Stephen, they say he had, what, four sisters? Okay, I'm going to tell y'all where I'm going with this. Now, I may have told this story before, but I'm going to tell it again. But I'm going to shorten it a little bit. When I was a little fella, well, I wasn't that little, but up in Michigan, had this fella named Tally Nixon. Tally Nixon had an older sister named Betty. And he had the, another sister named Jackie. Betty had a daughter. I'm going to call her for this, for this episode, Miss Piggy. She was younger. Her and Tally, which was Tally's niece, Debbie's daughter, Miss Piggy, and Tally, Tally was her niece. Tally was being raised by Betty, who was a nurse, and Jackie was his little older sister because the ma, his mom and pa got killed in a car accident. So he was raised in a household with three gals, okay? Tally, and if I'm lying about this, there's a guy by the name of Walker D. Russell. Can't be Russell, little brother. Played for Pontiac Central. Played for the Detroit Pistons. He can vouch for me on this. He can vouch for old head on this, okay? I'm throwing names out now, all right? He can vouch for me on this. Tally, me and my little fellas, we were jealous of Tally. Because Jackie, Tally's sister, was the finest chick on, no, on all of the east side. His sister Jackie, okay? She was a little older than him. She was the finest chick on the east side, period. Hands down. You know, you know my brother Junior hit it. <laughs> all right? Now, Jackie wasn't getting it up now. Jackie wasn't like that. Jackie wasn't getting, getting that stuff up. But everybody liked Jackie, okay? Walker D knows this story. He knows it. Because when you see Big Walk over there trying to, trying to get in Jackie Britches, Tally was the clean, Tally go real Stacy Adams. Now, we, we ride, we walking in K-Marks, slip and slide and glides. See, we walking in K-Marks. Or we got to go get us some pony tennis shoes or something like that. Or we got to go get us some Stacey Adams from the Salvation Army, like for 50 cent, and clean them up. You see what I'm saying? Tally walking in real designer stuff. Tally was the first one we ever seen carry a briefcase. Now, this kid in high school carrying a briefcase, okay? Dumb as a bag of rocks. He carried that briefcase. Tally was an okay basketball player. He couldn't beat me in basketball. He couldn't beat Harold, right? That, that's not the point about how much talent Tally had, okay? Maybe y'all can figure out where I'm going with this. Just stick with me, okay? Tally can call, Tally can call up Walker D. He can call up any of the cats in the neighborhood, older cats in the neighborhood, and say, bring me this, and it'll be like Uber Eats back then. Now, we ain't had no McDonald's. You know nothing about no McDonald's, none of that shit back then. You go, you go to Elon Brothers. Go to Elon Brothers. Elon Brothers cook everything. They cook everything in the fish grease. They fried chicken in the fish grease. Everything in the fish grease. Elon Brothers. But it's all good, okay? They would bring tally food if you wanted it. All the little girls our age, fine gas our age, they wouldn't give us no cat, but they'll give tally cat, right? Tally was the first one our age, young like that, had a baby. We like a baby. We know nothing about that. But we used to sit there on Harold Steps, which was across from Harold House, and see all this. Was we jealous of Hal? Hal? I mean, Vitaly? Oh, we probably were. Most so, yeah, we were. We had nothing. 
you know, it's you know, like Coach Prime shining in y'all face and y'all cheering him on, but Chad shining our face, we ain't cheering him on. Actually, we're trying to figure out how to get him, really. <laughs> okay. But Tally was cool. All right. So we're watching this, okay? We're watching this. We're watching all these big guys coming coming over, like coming over to Tally House, right? Catering to Tally. You know, giving Tally everything he wanted, the best clothes, everything. Even when we went to play, I, well, I might have told that story. I'm going to go in that story again. And it had another fellow, uh, uh, another fellow named Andy. I ain't going to say his last name. Okay. Andy's sister was the second finest to Tally's sister, Jackie. Andy's sister, light skin is short, fine thing. Jackie was fine. Uh, Andy Burial's sister was second to her in the, in the hood. Now, a guy named Le Chiz was messing around with Andy Berry, uh, uh, with, with Andy's sister. I won't say his last name. With Andy's sister, okay? They were fine. Andy was like Tally. They were the coolest cats, young cats in the hood because every all the older guys and everybody catered to Andy and Tally, right? Okay, y'all follow me where I'm going with this, okay? You couldn't mess with Tally and Andy. And they had another fella that hung with Tally and Andy. His name was Jojo. We called him Jojo White because he played ball good. Okay, y'all may go back and listen to my stuff. I told a story about Jojo, okay? Jojo was like the crash dummy. I'll compare Jojo dummy. I, I compare Jojo dummy to War Sap and Dion. Okay, <laughs> you know you gotta have a crash dummy. You know in your crew. You know what I mean. No disrespect, Warren, but hey, you know if Dion tell you to go sick him, you sick him. <laughs> Come on, that's how Jojo was. But Jojo was a cool. Jojo was cool. Jojo was smooth. He didn't have. He didn't have the reputation or the sisters that Tally and Andy had. But those three in our age group was a no fly zone over. You couldn't mess with because the older cats, right, liked them because of what? Because of their sisters. Stephen A. Smith had four sisters. I believe him when, when he said the older guys told him, don't mess with him because he was small. Now, this is his figure, right? Now, so this is when I'm listening to his story, this is what I'm equating it to. I've seen this movie before. They didn't bother Stephen A. Smith because of his sisters. Them older cats and them cats and drug dealers, cats and hood, and they probably had a shine on his sister. That's why he had a no-fly zone over his head. Not because he was talented in basketball. Not because he was smart. Not because they wanted to see him make it. That's because they wanted, they wanted his sisters. Because I'm quite sure, I ain't never seen his sisters, but I'm quite sure back in the day, if you got four sisters, at least three of them are fine. And if you got four sisters, at least two of them dealing with cats in the hood, that's some pretty bad boys that you don't want to mess with. Who got control of the hood to say, hey, don't mess with that little fella right there. So so when y'all listen to that story, when Stevie, Stevie they telling y'all about cats not messing with him and all that kind of stuff, he's right about that but not for the reasons y'all think. Not because it's basketball, for his education. No, like Tally and Andy, it was because of their sister is the reason why back in back in my day, nobody messed with them, okay? But it was a cat that came along <laughs> that messed with them. <laughs> I'm gonna believe it like that. It was a cat that broke, <laughs> that broke all that up, right? <laughs> all right, all right, but still though, you know, that's the reason in my uh, 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 surmising why nobody messed with Stephen A. Smith. He's not lying about that. He's just not telling the whole story. OK, or he not understanding the, the whole story. Why? Maybe they ain't telling that we, we got no fly zone on you because you, know, you got some fine sisters that we want to cat around with. OK, maybe they didn't tell him that. Maybe he was just thinking that, you know, he, he was the chosen one. Like on that Eddie Murphy movie, the little chosen, little Chinese boy, little Chinese little baby. He, maybe he was the chosen one like on Eddie Murphy. I don't know. But I do know one thing. If you got four fine, you got four sisters, at least two of them fine. And one of them is dealing with a cat in the hood that ain't nobody want to mess with. So that's just my little opinion on Stephen A. Smith. I know everybody got, I know, I know y'all got a little opinion, but oh, here telling you the real deal. That fella had some fine sisters, right? All the reason why nobody messed with him. 
Also, let me point out, if he lived right across the street from one of the baddest drug dealers in Hollis, Queens, there is no doubt that his finest sister was catting around, or one of his sisters was catting around with that fella. Because that fella, whoever that drug dealer was who put that no-fly zone over Stephen A. Smith's head, was just like me and my buddies, Harold. Harold lived right across the street from Tally. So we had a bird's eye view of Jackie every single day. So whoever that big, baddest drug dealer was, he had a bird's eye view every day of Stephen A. Smith's sisters. And no doubt, he wanted to or he was catting around with one of them. So that's why you probably couldn't touch Stephen A. Smith.